Good morning, everyone. It's Beth Sullivan and Malibu from Rainbow Parrot Rescue Florida. And um, we all decided that we should start doing some videos on a regular of many parrot topics that um, we get questions for on the daily. Um, and I have a huge list of things that I want to be able to talk to everybody about and, you know, discuss and have things that are open for discussion and be able to answer your questions as well. Um, there are literally so many topics I didn't even really know where to start. Um, but Maui, I think we need to start at the beginning, don't you? That's right. Um, and one of those things is, should I own a parrot? And I know I've talked about this before, and uh, they are a huge responsibility. Um, there are some basic things that you should know about owning a parrot, and um, and we're, I want to talk to you all about that kind of on a separate video. Um, but really where I want to start today is not just should I own a parrot, it's about selling parrots. Because people, for some reason around here, especially in Florida, seem to just want to own a parrot to flip it. Um, and. I know that's probably not where y'all think thought that this topic was gonna go, but that is actually the part and the reason and the actually one of the main, um, I mean, literally the inspiration of why Dan and I decided to do what we do. Uh, we just saw so many scammers out there. Um, it was it was just disgusting, even, even rescues that were taking in parrots and flipping them for the money. They didn't really want a parrot, they just wanted the money. And, um, or people thought they could, you know, they'd like parrots, but they thought it was a better idea to just sell them and get more. So um, I wanted to address a few things that have really been a problem. What are you dancing for? What? See, this? I knew this was gonna be very distracting. What? Come here, boopy. Boopy. This, she's a Harlequin macaw. She is um, four years old and my baby girl. I love her so much. Um, yes, we love you, boopy. Come here, step up. So um, she's just like kind of a, always has to be everybody's business. Mwah! Okay, here, sit up here. So I guess what I wanna ask you all is, if you are, if you have a bird or a, you're a part of a, a rescue or what, what have you, should I sell a bird? Can I sell my bird for money? Can I make money off of my parrot? Um, I'm gonna say this to everybody in a very simple way. Um, mostly no, <laughs> okay, but there, there are, there are um, absolutely some ways that you can, um, if, you know, breeders are, you know, you know breeding birds for many and such. Um, but there are some reasons and some very specific things that will make you qualified to rehome and sell your bird, okay? Um, number one, your bird that you are selling or rehoming, we'll call it rehoming. Um, can I sell it? Ask yourself a couple of questions. Number one, is it DNA sex or is it dimorphic, you know, where you can tell that it's a male or a female just by certain traits? Um, so can, do you know the sex of your bird 100% and can you prove it, okay? So can you prove the sex of your bird? Number two, is your bird microchips? Very important, or, you know, at least if it's 65 grams or more um, appropriately. African gray size or bigger, is it microchips? Have you debanded your bird? Bands on your bird are not good. You don't sell a bird with a band on its leg unless you're getting it directly from a breeder. Um, but those bands are, they're worth nothing. They mean nothing. And in very rare cases, do they even help owners reunite? Very rare, very rare. I mean, it's, so microchipping is the only way to properly identify your bird so that if you're gonna rehome a bird, you can give the, the new owner the, <coughs> I'm gonna fly my mouth, gnats everywhere. Um, you can give the, the new owner the microchip number and they can switch over into their name. It's the only true way to truly identify um, your bird as your own. That's it. Right, Mouse? Oh. Yes, a boo boo. That's the only way, period. The most important reason, the most important thing I would say is, has your bird been vetted? Can you prove that it has no avian illnesses? Where's your paperwork? In the last year, have you done bacterial cultures? Have you done a CBC? Have you done an annual checkup? I'm not talking about have you brought your bird in for a beak and nail trim. I'm talking about have you actually gone to the vet and had blood work done to prove that it doesn't have any kind of avian illness. Um, birds carry a lot of diseases. They carry chlamydia. That's right, I said chlamydia. You've heard it before. I'll say it again. They carry chlamydia. It may not be in the same form as 
an STD, but you can get, basically for humans, it'd be like you get pneumonia oh. or other things. Avian influenza, we all know about that one. There is multiple um, diseases that birds carry, not only to um, other birds, but to humans as well. So can you sell a bird for money? If your bird is vet checked, you can prove that. Your bird is negative for illnesses. Your bird is microchip DNA'd. And it ha you can prove that you're selling a healthy bird and that you're healthy sending it to someone else for their home, whether it be with children or other pets or other birds. And um, then I would say yes. And your bird isn't, you know, almost dead. <laughs> it's, it's a healthy age. They live a long time. So healthy age for a parrot is it's pretty wide range there. So I would say that is where you really need to ask. So if you see any of these free homing pages that are like, oh, I'm, you know, rehoming my cockatoo. I'm rehoming my African gray. I'm rehoming. Ask yourself to ask that person those questions. And then if they can answer them and prove that they can answer them, then I think that that, that would be worth um, selling your parrots. If they can't oh. prove that they've, you know, not taken care of the parrot, they haven't properly vet checked it, um, been an animal that's going to most potentially outlive you um, and a bird that needs to be microchipped that cannot just run away like a dog or a cat but can fly away right um, yes then those are those are reasons to absolutely reasons that I think you can um, absolutely sell your bird and you know and it for for money other than that no no you cannot um, because you are handing over any person who knows how to take care of a parrot knows that you're handing them over a pet that is extremely expensive to take care of. And if they haven't had all those things done, it's your responsibility. And you don't need to be paying for the bird and then paying for all of the hundreds of dollars worth of um, vet care that the prior owner neglected to take care of. So if you're thinking about purchasing a pet, a parrot, it is your responsibility, just like any pet owner, to get that bird properly vet checked. And we are lucky enough here in Jacksonville to have the Exotic Bird Hospital. There's a lot of other ways that you can do it as well. I know there are labs that people work with, all kinds of things. But um, I'm happy to answer any questions and we are gonna be posting this. I gotta get out of here, there's a like gnats out here. I don't know what's going on? Getting in my coffee. Um, yeah. But we just wanted to make sure that that was the first thing I addressed because I don't want to see all these rehoming pages and these rescues flipping birds. We're kind of, I don't like it. I don't like seeing it. And I'm all for selling healthy parrots, breeding healthy parrots. Breeders should be reputable. Absolutely. But people that have had a pet for a number of years or even a year and have not had some of that stuff done should not be flipping that bird for any kind of money. All right, guys. Best Sullivan at Rainbow Parrot Rescue Florida. Make sure you visit us um, at our YouTube channel, Fashion Fins and Feathers with Best Sullivan. And um, we have an online presence now as well as a website, www.rainbowparrotrescueflorida.org. Thanks everybody. Share this video. Bye.